Temperatures are always a little warmer in north central Kansas. Fishing activity takes off a little faster than Nebraska, I can tell you. I was up at Sherman fishing off the rocks last Saturday night, and there were a lot of females rolling, and of course it is shut down right now during the spawn. But the spawn is going on down south, in fact, starting to wrap up at Kerwin, casting jigs, crankbaits off the dam as they come into spawn, those walleye fair activity. Kerwin is rated as the number one lake in Kansas density-wise for their walleye for sizes of 15 inches and above. So that is a good spot to be. Webster, south of Kerwin in Kansas, fair activity on the walleye, casting off the dam with jigs and crankbaits, few short ones. They have to be 15 inches, so throw those back under 15. Good action on white bass, wipers. Of course, some of those wipers up to seven, eight pounds being caught around the north and south fish attractors. No word on what's being used, but I can about tell you that jigs are going to be the best bet there. Crappie fair at Webster using jig slabs by the north and the south fish attractors. Catfish fair, and you can uh, find those by using shad and stink bait on the bottom. Methodist Camp Point, one of the better locations. Good on trout. It's the last stocking, the fifth one. Lures, salmon eggs, and power bait at Webster. Well, banquet's coming up Saturday, April 26th. It's the Sherman County Pheasants Forever chapter holding their banquet at the Loop City Community Center. And the National Wild Turkey Federation coming up their hunting heritage banquet Saturday, May 3rd, Niobrary Valley uh, Niobrara Valley chapter at the Spencer Community Hall, Spencer, Nebraska. Go straight up 281. You're almost in South Dakota. You'll find Spencer. That's where it's at. Well, here's Wayne Wall with a hand cannon and a wild boar that he got in Texas. I shot that gun. It rock and rolls. And it got in a nice hog, too. Well, if you'd like to send pictures like that, be careful of the blood. If uh, we haven't shown your picture, that might be one of the reasons why. But it's fishing time, so send your fishing pictures to me, kboutnebraska.tv, and check out these websites as well. That is the Outdoor Files for this week. Sarah, back to you.